By talking yeah, yourself out of talking it. Talking myself out of it. And the, the, when I started, like, right, just have a go. Worst comes to worst, probably bad. Do you know what I mean? And I, since then, it's just fucking picked up well better. We're going to go down these rocks now, you've said that. You've influenced me to go down them. <laughs> Not fast, slowly. There we go. <laughs> That's how I robbed it. Welcome to Robbie Anderson's vlog number one. Is the Fantic 254 stroke XEF the right bike for you? I'm an ex-superbike uh, rider, uh, always been on the roads, uh, superbikes, track days, stuff like that. Uh, but when it come down to getting a off-road bike, I didn't absolutely have a clue on what it was that I needed. Uh, I, I've always been a little bit scared of them in relation to always thinking that everybody breaks their legs and it's really easy to, to really, really hurt yourself. Um, but yeah, I'm flying around a, a racetrack, you know, 150 plus miles an hour do you know what i mean not thinking about yeah if i crash on there then it's a lot more it's going to hurt me a lot more than it is uh coming off on one of these uh green lane bikes this what i'm talking about today is uh, uh fantic uh 250 four stroke uh and basically it's an enduro bike uh so i do i've done a little bit of green laning uh i've done um wales twice i've been to wales uh, absolutely loved it and in enjoyed it now in relation to uh how many uh, hours I've done. I've literally been on the bike for 468 miles. All right, I bought it from brand new. It's a 2022 uh, model, so it's the first model, which is the injection one, uh, which did come out in 2021. Uh, I just didn't register it. I'll get the bike to just after 2022 this year. Um, but let's have a little look at, around the bike. So I first seen the bike at uh, NEC in Birmingham. And I absolutely uh, uh, loved it from the beginning. I, s I went round and I sat on uh, one of the uh, the actual race bikes, competition bikes, and I sat on it and I, and, and, and I thought, you know, it's nice, it's lovely this, but uh, it, were, it were just under 10 grand. So I got off of it and, I, and then, because I, like I said, I didn't have a clue what I was going to do. I'm not a mechanic, I'm not really good with stuff like that. Uh, so I basically wanted to look at buying a brand new bike. So when I do get uh, uh, out in the field or in the middle of nowhere, and I get, I'd hopefully, fingers crossed, don't have any problems where I'm going to get stuck. So, and I didn't want to buy, a, I'm a, I am a sucker for buying second hand stuff that don't work. Uh, and I am the guy that literally will break down and it's my own fault because uh, I bought a pile of junk off somebody so i went down the route of looking at a new bike now like i said i was sitting on a fantic uh which were 10 grand um and i got off of it and i looked to literally looked at the side and there were one of these in the red uh white and black colors which looks absolutely lovely. it looks just like the competition bikes uh so i looked at it and literally i said to it had a price tag on it for five grand right and i thought they'd made a mistake literally i went over to the guy on the stand i said look mate i said what's the why is this five grand and that one there says ten grand yeah and they the look to me to look like they're, they're the same bike and basically he said to me the suspension on that uh, 10 grand bike costs more than that other bike uh the xcf put together okay is he said that's that's the main expense um and the x the other ones are two foot the, the two stroke ones competition they're actually built by yamaha these are not built by yamaha uh out these ones here um but the so i looked into it uh priced it up and it literally just over five thousand pounds uh, and i went to a place called power sport on thornton road uh in bradford uh i spoke to the gentleman there and he said he bought one because he doesn't like selling stuff that he doesn't actually uh rate himself so he went out 
he bought one and he's done a couple of mods i'm going to show you these modifications that he's done because uh, he actually put them on for my bike as well as best advice because like i said i'm a beginner rider i ain't got a clue uh in relation to uh what i'm going to be faced with what's going to happen so i'll show you a couple of these mods so the first modification is this uh, engine protector there all right it wraps around the full end of the bike all the way underneath okay and that obviously there is to protect your engine now i think they do have one on a standard but this one is an upgraded version next modification is this little piece of metal there where which he says obviously you drop your bike on your left hand side quite often and there's a little sensor in there and it's quite easy to get damaged so that i would say that that is an important mod now he did warn me that the chains that come with the Fantix, uh, the original chain is absolutely shocking. Uh, and he said that from Point Go, he said he won't even let it out of his showroom without putting a new chain on for me. So he's put a new chain on. They come with Michelin tyres on there, a standard, straight out the showroom. Brilliant tread. Last last quite a while now they do come with some uh, factory uh, hand protectors but the, these ones that I've put on actually uh, uh, wrap around and they're fully supported these are these are pretty good I do advise them because I mean obviously it's a good state of mind already this bikes less than six month old it's done 400 just under 500 miles um, and in relation to testing it, I, I've tested it from big, as a beginner rider. I've uh, I've really pushed it to, to, to see what it can do um, and what I can actually do myself. It's got a nice sounding uh, sounding exhaust. It's not too loud. All right, made by Arrow. But what I can say is it is absolutely solid as a rock. It's been it's taken the right beating as that one there, um, and it is a lovely piece of kit. Is that? In relation to power, what sort of power has it got? It's got 28 brake horsepower standard. Uh, the gentleman when I bought it out of the showroom, I think he did something to the exhaust and put it up to 30, uh, which is something to do with like an American um, a restriction that they put in the exhaust. So apparently it's running at 30 with brake horsepower. All right, at 250, it's not a great deal of power uh, whatsoever. It ain't gonna throw you over handlebars. You'll go over handlebars if you, if you hit something in front of you, but it ain't gonna flip you over, uh, not without clutching it up neither. Um, but in relation to, uh, has it got the power that is required to do what you need to do on it? The answer to that is, yeah going up hills uh, the torques there it'll just you know you can literally stay in second or third and it'll just tug you up that hill it'll get up that hill and do what it is that you need to do the reason why i brought you to tong today is uh it's it's quite hard this tong there's quite a lot of difference in that uh different things there the the uh, big hills down hills uh some jumps plenty of logs to get over um, and they're actually getting it ready uh, to do an endurance event in a couple of uh, next month, I think it is, which I plan on uh, checking that out. And yeah, it's a good it's a good place to go. So I'm not just going to draw drive around a car park. I'm not just going to go and drive on roads. The whole point of us having a look and doing a review on this bike is: is the bike for you? Are you a beginner rider? Do you know what you want? Do you know if something's going to be good enough for you? Or do you think that the top bikes are over 10 grand? That why need one if you're not going to use it? What's the point of having all that power uh, if you can't use it? I've got boys that have got uh, KTM 300s, 350 and uh, 400s and they can't actually use what it is that they want to use on a lane or even on this Enduro uh, uh, track that we're about to check out. But we're going to head down there now. We'll have a little nosy and we'll... Uh, well you'll be able to see and hopefully i'll be able to talk you through a few things that are not great on it uh, and a few things that i'm i'm actually struggling with hello, hello. you all right all right thank you oh bloody that's a big dog isn't it <laughs> hello what a beast uh, yeah, I'm a bit. Early, I'm a bit earlier than that today. Right. Uh, I, I'm. A, I don't know if you were the person I messaged, but I'm doing a YouTube vid video. Yes. A vlog. Yes. Uh, 
and my I think it's my wife's coming down. Uh, okay. She's going to come down, and obviously, okay. if you just point me in the right direction, I'll find that's her anyway. But okay. that's, that's all right. Uh, that's my YouTube card. If you ever have a nosy. Oh, wonderful. All Thank right. You, uh, how much is it today? Eight twenty, please. Twenty pounds. Wonderful. There we go. You just want to sign on here. Yeah. So we have arrived at Tom Park. There's only a couple of vans here just now, a couple of bikes, but hopefully later on it should get a little bit busier. Uh, first of all, let's go and get a cup of tea. So we've got a cafe, we've got refreshments. Are we all good? Are we up and running? Are we just this is on a YouTube vlog. Are we not, are we not cooking yet though? No, I'm not cooking. Have we got cups of teas I need going? A drink. Yeah, yeah man, let's a cup of tea, love, please. That'll do for me. Can't cups of tea. Yeah, hot water. Just turn it back on. Turn the hot water on. Let's get it going. Brews are well important. Yes, yes, Jordan's here. Jordan is here. Yes, yes, bro. <laughs> How are you doing, on? mate? You all right? Yeah, man. Yeah, it's quite quiet. So Jordan's going to help us out with uh, some of the YouTube footage today. He can actually ride though, which I can't. I'm learning. <laughs> this guy can actually. He, he'll be laughing at me most of the day. <laughs> On my ass. <laughs> On my ass. But hopefully we'll get some good footage of him doing some uh, funky tricks. But uh, it should be quite interesting. Yes, yes. You all right with that? Yeah, she looks sick, man. So what's that, a beta 300? Yeah, 300 RR. Beta 300 RR, sick. Two stroke? Yeah, yeah. Two strokes, I don't like four strokes. So we're just letting the tyres down a little bit because mine are literally ready for road and it should hopefully give me a little bit more confidence and, and grip. Yeah, it tells me I'm doing uh, 126 mile an hour at one point. <laughs> <laughs> That's when I realised it was